Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a hand, but also talk about a game that's not talked about so often. Lots of videos are done about the technical aspects of bridge, but less so about other facets of the game. We'll get the hand up and then we'll start. <laughs> okay. So, in bridge, as I said, there are lots of technical aspects. You can get better at finessing or, you know, safety playing or drawing trumps or handling bad trump breaks. There are lots of things you can do that are technically better and will help your card play. Today, however, I'm going to be talking about an, an aspect of the game that will help you in the long run and a bit, yeah, less, less about the technical aspect. Bridge is a game of two parts, not the auction, the card play, but kind of those. Um, <laughs> there's how good you are as a player and how good your mentality is at the table. There are lots of people who watch their partner make a mistake and go, oh, partner, silly partner. What, what am I going to do about them? Others blame good opponents or tough defences. Lots of top players that I've spoken to all say the same thing. Our worst enemy at the bridge table is not the opponents. Some cheekily might suggest partner, but as a joke. All of them say they themselves are their worst enemy. Sometimes people will second guess themselves. They think one idea is the best and then they'll pivot. They, they think another idea is better. Turns out their instincts were right and they, they second guess themselves and went wrong. For some people, it's after they make a mistake, they'll beat themselves up about it for a, a week or two. Yeah, and there's nothing worse than getting a bottom on the first board, getting no match points on the first board, and because we're angry at ourselves, then getting a bottom on the second board <laughs> because we were angry at the first board. So here's an example. Here's an example hand of a mentality issue where not an issue, but certainly something where a good mentality could have provided a a better outlook and perhaps set them up better for the session. So let's go through this hand. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so the auction started a week, no trump from East. Uh, so that's 12 to 14. Uh, as South, I did have 15 points. So some people would like to make a penalty double with this hand. For me, not quite enough. Um, so I, I just passed at the table. And as you can see, the auction, we played in a no trump. So we had our fourth highest six of diamonds. West one with the king. Uh, north followed with the ten, and east played the two. Very good. So he's decided to cash two hearts making their total up to three tricks. They could play for hearts 3-3, three, three, but the declarer at my table didn't feel like there was a rush. We've only got three top spade losers, a top diamond to lose, maybe a couple of clubs, but we can get to that. The number of tricks we have, well, <clears throat> at this point, you can count how many tricks we've got. Yeah. We scored one diamond. We've got ace king of hearts. How many more tricks have we got to come? If you pause the video now, have a look. Okay, for those who pause the video, uh, I can count. We took the initial diamond lead. We've got two top hearts that we've already taken. We're up to three tricks. Top heart is four with the queen of hearts. We're going to come to a diamond trick is five. 
we've got the ace of clubs, which is six. So we need one more trick, one more trick to come. Yeah, to make our one no trump contracts. We could try and force out the ace, king, queen of spades on the east-west cards. But... Obviously, that comes with some risk on the actual hand uh, south, which was me, may be able to set up diamonds. We might try to tackle clubs, but that suit looks a bit fragile. So, Declara went for the attacking the spades line. Try to set up a, a spade trick by force. So, spade is south. I won the queen. Desperate to set up my diamonds. We played the eight of diamonds now. If we'd have played the four or the three, it might have tipped east off to the fact that diamonds weren't, you know, four three, or they were weren't breaking well. So if we need the fourth highest and then need a lower one, that will imply five or possibly even six. So we did the eight. East won the won the jack, and our partner pitched a very murky seven of spades. Not trying to give anything away to me. <laughs> this is where sometimes people go, "Oh, partner's our worst enemy." Could have dis could have discouraged or encouraged with the three or the eight, whichever way round you play it. Partner played a very murky seven, but we probably know what's going on in the spade position here. So again, East is on their mission to establish spades by force. We won our king. And now we've got a south. We've got the ace of spades. The ace of diamonds will crush the queen in dummy. And therefore we'll have three long diamond tricks. So we'll have five top tricks in total to go along with our two top spades. And so at the club we proceeded to cash out. And take our tricks. At this point, East had enough tricks to make the contract. Well, not to make the contract. Had the rest of the tricks. Sorry. Had the rest of the tricks. Was one off in the end. It happens. You know, people go off in an O-Trump. You take a weird view. Things happen. So the person who's sitting on my right is East went, oh, I've, I've gone off in another contract. I'm so bad at bridge and started beating themselves up about it. And after they beat themselves up for a minute or two, they put it into the, into the scoring machine and found out they got 60% on the board. You know, if you look at the North South cards, you've got two heart losers, a club loser and two diamond losers. They're going to make two diamonds. So you're minus 50 against their maybe 90. Turned out to be 60%. Yeah. So very often our own worst enemy is ourselves. We think we've done something horrible or very egregious. But in actual fact, it might not be that bad. We don't, well, I certainly don't know how, how things will score in a big field. Yeah. So the takeaway from this lesson, don't beat yourself up too much about going off in a contract or letting through a contract. Most importantly, don't let it affect the next board. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Uh, again, subscribe to the YouTube channel to uh, get notified when new videos go live. So thanks very much. See you soon.